Sony's upcoming Spider-Man spinoff, Madam Web, has a unique plot, says one of the headlining stars of the film. And I get PTSD because the last time they said that, we got Morbius. Ugh. Okay, so this one comes at us from Entertainment Online, who got to interview Emma Roberts, who of course is one of the stars of the upcoming Madam Web Spider-Man spin-off film made by Sony that may or may not have some connection to what's going on in the MCU or not. We still don't know. It's not very clear. The film is still quite a ways off. I mean, late next year. So it's going to be a while till we get anything real big or any confirmations or even teases from Sony. But Emma was asked about this film, what it's like approaching the Spider-Man world. And without going too much into it, she says that she grew up watching Marvel movies and loves them. But this isn't just any Marvel movie. This is something bigger. And that this thing is going to be pretty big considering it has a huge approach to the story and a unique feel with how much they're putting into in it. In terms of content and how it connects to the bigger Spider-Verse. So, um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> look, um, I don't know what I could say about this that you guys wanted me to talk about that isn't something I've already said or isn't going to be something that I'm reiterating. I still don't trust them at all. Like, I do not have any trust in Sony to pull this off. And a large part of that reason is honestly because they failed so many times to understand the core fundamentals of aspects of Spider-Man and his villains on their own that I don't think they generally have an idea of how to pull it off without Marvel Studios' guidance. And everybody's going to come at me in the comments going on about Venom and stuff. But again, they did Venom without having Spider-Man in there. It just, you know, I like Venom. But again, they seem to miss core aspects of these characters that are supposed to be inherently important to them. And now making some sort of Terminator light out of Spider-Man sounds all right. And it certainly sounds unique. But making it work and not trying to ruin Peter Parker as a character by having it predestined doesn't. That just takes away from it. So again, this whole thing, anytime they mention anything about how unique, special, and different it is, I just get flashbacks to the Venom films and Morbius, and that, that makes me already question everything that they're saying.